And good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Se entraba uno. Está bien pegadito. Uh -huh. Welcome, welcome. I'm ready to start now. So just let me know how you feel today. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I'm ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, of course. Okay. Let us do it. Let us do it. Now, let's. Good evening, teacher. Alejandra, Janet, Cecilia, Roxana, Héctor, Don Jonathan, Esmeralda, Carlos Amilcar. Natalia Sergio Adolfo. Teacher, soy Hello. Esmeralda. Eh, sí. Fíjese que he estado con migraña todo el día, entonces sí voy a estar conectada en la clase, solamente que voy a tratar de no estar viendo la pantalla porque me siento súper mal, para serle sincera, pero no quiero perder la clase, entonces solo voy a estar como oyente. Okay. Teacher, de igual manera, se iba a informar de que estoy en el trabajo, por, por eso estaré de oyente, por cualquier cosa, si me llegara a preguntar algo y no contesto, es por ello, porque estoy en el trabajo. Las disculpas del caso. Okay, let us start now. Let me check out the attendance. Perfect. 
completado las actividades correspondientes a las semanas 1, 2 y bueno, por, quizá ya la 3, estamos ya a punto de cerrar para poder ir actualizando las notas. Y si hay algún inconveniente, también me lo pueden hacer saber. Teacher, buenas noches. Buenas noches. Fíjese sí, que en mi caso yo he tenido mucho problema para realizar las tareas. Gracias a Dios, ahora logré meterme bien en eso, pero no las logré hacer. Pero primeramente digo yo mañana me pongo al día más tardar, teacher. Ah, ok, perfecto. Thank you, teacher. Gracias por informar. Okay, let me see here. Teacher, sorry, I can hear you. My microphone is not working properly. Okay, hold on a second, please. In this moment, yes, but no se le escuchaba casi nada. Okay, let me test my microphone. Hola, hola, hola. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Okay, this is session number 14. And the topic for today is Teacher, no se le escucha. Hola, hola, hola. Hola, hola. Ahora sí. Hola, hola, hola. Ahora sí, teacher. Hola, sí. Es better, teacher. Better. Yes, teacher. Oh. Ah, let me see. 
I got some problem with my microphone. Well, I'm going to show you again my topic. Uh, the topic for today is good uh, etiquette at workplace. And before to check out the attendance, I would like to show you the question that we are going to use in order to start talking about this topic. Okay, the first one uh, said, is the word etiquette familiar to you? Mention two rules of etiquette of your workplace. Are these rules important and why? So let us start with the first one. Is the word etiquette familiar to you? Yes, let me please. Okay, let me check out first the, the attendance. America, say hello. America, say hello, please. Okay, Carlos Amilcar. Present. Cecilia Maribel. Present, teacher. Edwin Alexis. Present, teacher. Edwin uh, Alfredo. Hi, good evening. Good evening, Esmeralda del Rosario. Present teacher. Eh, Gabriela Yamilet. Present teacher. Gisela Guadalupe. Present teacher. Ingrid Geraldina. Jonathan Stanley. Present teacher. Jose Ernesto. Catherine Paola. Present teacher. Candy Natalia. Present teacher. Okay, Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Mercedes Alejandra. Present teacher. Roxana Álvarez. Present teacher. Roxana Elizabeth. Sara Alejandra. Present teacher. Okay, Sergio Adolfo. Present teacher. Jeanette del Carmen. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, now uh, let us start talking about the first question. Just raise your hand if you want to make a comment. Let me show you again the questions. And you can tell me. What is the word etiquette familiar to you? Is the word etiquette familiar to you? Just give me an answer, please. Hola, hola.
For me, not familiar. Hector? Uh, not familiar with the word. Not familiar with the word? No. Oh, OK. Thank you. What, what about the rest of the class? What For me, you... yes, teacher. Oh, OK. For me, yes. Mm, I think that our, our a lot of rules of behavior. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Somebody else. Oh, Me, teacher. Okay. Is a uh, uh, um, uh, let me see. Yes, is the set of love of personal behavior teacher okay in, in polite society okay polite society okay okay someone else please Hola, 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 hola. Eh, teacher, for me, eh, the word is not familiar, eh, but I think is behavioral rules. Okay, thank you. Someone else? No idea? It's not familiar for me, teacher. Okay. That means that is 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 new one. Okay, don't worry about. Okay, hold on a second. Well, but what about um? Well, if you are not familiar with the word, I mean, that is going to be difficult for you to, to talk about then. But, well, the first question says, is the word etiquette familiar to you? Mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. Are these rules important and why? But if, if you don't have any idea, don't worry about that because uh, we are going to give you some explanation related with this. Okay, let me stop here and I'm going to share something now. Okay, here we go. Just tell me if you can see it. Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, let me choose one of you that is going to give me a number. What about, let me see. Well, when I see someone that is as a listener, 
I take care because maybe it's working or it's doing something. Okay, hold on a second, please. Okay, uh, what about you, Elvin, Alfredo? Could you give me a number from one to nine? Two numbers. One number. Ah, uh, one, number four. Number four, okay, let me see. Hold on a second, let me move. Okay, number four. Okay, what is objection? What can you tell me about that? What is objections? Mm, for me? Oh, no, not necessary. Yeah. Somebody else can answer it. Yes, but, uh, but objection if you, is... If you have some ideas, uh, you can share it. I have an idea. Uh... For example, objection is when when the people is disagree with other people. Ah, okay. Okay, thank you. That is an objection, right? Okay, let us continue then. Let me look for somebody else. No, Jose Aleman is driving. He's driving, be careful, my friend, be careful. What about you, Janet? Give me a number, please. Janet. Number two. Number two? Ah, oh, okay, jargon. What is that, jargon? And there we can find uh, we need some new target. The public are starting to understand what we're talking about. Okay, what 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 do you think is the meaning of the word jargon? Or someone else? Have you heard this word before? No? I don't know, teacher. I don't jargon. Know. No idea about jargon? I don't have an idea, teacher. Okay. What about in Spanish something that is called jerga? In Spanish? Yes, teacher. Jerga. Jerigonza. What is that? It's a group of a specific type of words. Okay, could be. Could be. Es, um, in, 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 in Spanish, yes, eh, in podría, Spanish. Ser, sí, podría ser como unas palabras de, por ejemplo, cómo se entienden entre, por decir algo, entre ingenieros, entre contadores, parte de la jerga de ellos es un grupo de palabras que yeah. se usan como, como palabras muy técnicas. Okay, that is the jargon. This is jargon. Words used by a specific group of profession, we call it jargon. But at the same time, uh, in Espanol, we have jerigonza. What is jerigonza? It's not common, this term, maybe. When somebody uh, speak a lot, you know, That is the meaning of, of, the, of the word jargon. Okay, then later on, we are going to relate all these terms with, with the, the main topic, right? Luego vamos a relacionar eso con el tema principal. Okay, someone else give me a number, please. Uh, let me see. Okay, let me see, let me see. No veo cámaras encendidas, solo cámaras apagadas. Okay, Paola, could you give me a number, please? Number six, teacher. Number six. Okay, what is that? Disagree meaning, disagree meaning. Thank you. 
teacher, a uh, different opinion. Okay. Uh, uh, express a different opinion in, in the middle, teacher. Okay. Okay, um, let me see someone now. Another number, please. What about you, Gisela? Number nine. Number nine. Sorry, just no, maybe. What do you understand for send your apologies? Understand for send your apologies. Yes. Yes. In Spanish, what is that? Um, can ti entien que entiendes que entiendes tú por enviar tu apologies. I don't know, teacher, in Spanish. Disculpas. Disculpas. ¿Qué se comprende por enviar unas disculpas? ¿Qué se comprende por enviar unas disculpas? ¿Qué, se, qué sería el significado de eso? For that reason, in the, in the, in the, in the top says, sorry, yes, no, maybe. A message, teacher? Okay. Right. okay, it's a message. If you make a mistake, you can send uh, something uh, like like that. Sorry. And the and the another person is going to check yes, no, maybe you know. It's not very common right here in in Latin America to do this. Okay. Um. Uh, Sergio, give me a number, please. Number three, teacher. Number three, okay, your opinion matters. Stay your opinion. Okay, what, what is that? Number three, your opinion matters. Say your opinion. What can you tell me about that? That means that uh, the group is going to respect your opinion, right? And uh, you are going to say something and everyone is going to listen to you. It's part of etiquette, okay. Give me another number, please, somebody else. Number five, teacher. Okay, number five is this. Burger. What is burger? What is the meaning of that word? Maybe at the first time that you see it. I don't have idea, the job. I... How often do you back in your job? It's a... Uh... New vocabulary teacher. Ah, okay. Based on the picture, what can you infer? 
fighting, dispute, discuss. Ah, okay. Okay, and in Spanish? Discuten sobre algún Discutir. pensamiento. Eh, tener una riña por algo con alguien. Okay. Pronunciation is Becker. What is Becker? Is when you discuss with someone else. Okay, okay. Give me another number, someone else, please. Number one. Number one. No time to waste. What is that? Waste time. No time to waste. Waste time. What is that? Time to useless, teacher. That means that when we see a sign like this, that means that we need to go to the target, you know? In other words, teacher, is when the time is lost? Yeah, doing maybe another activities that are not important in order to finish a task in your workplace. Okay, the last two number, someone else tell me one, please. Number seven. Number seven. Meaning of talk over. What is talk over? Talk over. No sé decir solo en inglés, teacher, pero es están conversando sobre algo. O están discutiendo un tema o un significado sobre algo. Ok. Thank you. Someone else? Talk over. Number eight, teacher. Maybe, teacher, when talk something discuss in the middle? Talk over could be also when somebody talk speak a lot. Mm, okay. About something. Okay, teacher. Okay, number eight. Eight, the last one, interrupt, interrupt. Stop interrupt, uh, interrupting and start listening. And you can see the picture right here. What can you infer about that? What can you tell me about this picture? And about the word interrupt. Teacher. Hello. Um, I don't hear. I don't hear you, but if you, if you question me. You can hear me? I, actually, yes, lacks the lacks time, no. My goodness. Sorry. What about the rest of the class? 
Yes, teacher, I hear you. My goodness, something is happening here. But my microphone, it looks like it's working properly. Probably is my phone because I don't, but I don't have battery. My goodness. Okay. Sorry, teacher. No, don't worry about it. Just let me know. Uh, anybody of you got a problem in order to, to hear me clearly, just let me know, please. And I can, I can check my my microphone in order to to be sure that it's working the right way. Yes, yes. Actually, I I can battery. I can prove battery. Your phone is dead. <laughs> He's bad. Yeah, that that is the the the, the way. When when somebody uh it doesn't have battery, say my phone is dead. Okay, let me see. Okay, así repito en español de todas las palabras que vimos, eh, todas eran nuevas o, o ya habían visto algunas. Casi todas no. eran nuevas, Ticha. Ajá, es nuevas, Good for me. Ah, ok. Espero hayan dejado, hayan dejado registro de algo. Si no, ahí quedaron en, en el video. New, new vocabulary. Yes, new vocabulary. And today we are going to read a lot about etiquettes. And you are going to find out new words too. So let us continue then. But I need that all of you participate. Necesito que todos participen porque en el material que tenemos es extensito. Y eh, necesito que vayan practicando, por favor. Okay, right here, the instruction said, the letter A said, read the article on workplace etiquette uh, guidelines. And then we are going to continue with letter B. So let us start with this, good etiquette at the workplace. I am going to read it. And later on, maybe five of you are going to read this two paragraph. The next one is going to continue with the next paragraph. Okay, there are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, that is okay. However, a visual latecomers are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the, the concerned authority and recall the reason why you are late. Okay, I'm going to make a stop here. Voy a hacer un alto acá. And you can uh, ask me something that maybe you don't got the menu. Or if you want, I can continue with the second one and later on we can continue discussing. Okay, I'm going to continue. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of other countries. In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. We also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. Okay, as I told you uh, before, today we are going to read 
uh, this article and I need the uh, EU practice reading too. So as the reading, yes, I uh, identify all the difficult work for you and I, I'm going to give you a hand in order that you can learn how to pronounce it. Any questions so far from here? Hola, hola, hola. O están leyendo? Yes, reading, teacher. Okay, I'm going to give you like two minutes to read. And after that, you can okay. underline, you can ask question related with this two paragraph. Okay, let's do, do it, do it. Okay, teacher. Teacher, how pronounce concern it? Cons Just tell me the line, the line, the number of the line. Dígame el número de línea para ubicarme más rápido. Line eight. Ah, right here, concern, concern. I remember I explained you how to pronounce the ED. ¿Se acuerdan que les expliqué tres formas de pronunciación del ED? Yes, teacher. Ah, ok. Aquí vamos a aplicarla. Thanks. Teacher, how do you say it? to have good con? Con with no sé. Line number. No Line number. The second. The second paragraph, teacher. Okay, the second mm. paragraph. Line. Ahí, 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 ahí abajo. Uh -huh. Knowledge. Knowledge. ¿Qué significa eso, teacher? Eh, to have good knowledge means tener un buen conocimiento. Knowledge es conocimiento. Es knowledge, ¿verdad, teacher? Sí, eh, knowledge. No. Thank you. Ok. As I told you, como les dije antes, de aquí para allá, alisten sus cuadernitos. Van a aprender un montón de palabras nuevas. Pero, por favor, pregunte, comparta lo que, la duda que tiene. Puede ser la misma que tengan dos, tres más compañeros. And we need to hurry up because uh, it's a, a little long. Y necesitamos como ir a decir un poco, no tan lento, pero tampoco corriendo, porque el, el texto es algo largo. Okay, I'm going to read again. I'm going to read again. Just please pay attention about that. And follow me with the reading. Sígame con la lectura, por favor. Good etiquette at the workplace. There are many workplace etiquette gu guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, that is okay. However, official late comers are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the, the concerned authority and report the reason why you are late. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, in those cases, 
it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of other countries. In the official email, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. You also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. Okay, who wants to start reading? Or I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. This reading, you can find it in your material too. Hola, hola, hola. Alguien inicia leyendo o tiene una pregunta, por favor. Mi teacher. Okay. Good etiquette at the workplace. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, that is okay. However, habitual late comers are never appreciated in my in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concerned authority and report the reason why you are late. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of other countries. In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. You also need to include all the important details you should use formal and grammatically correct languages for email. Thank you. Someone else, please. Me, teacher. Okay. Good etiquette at the workplace. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is so is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an, an emergency, that is okay. However, habitual late comers are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guidelines will be to call the concerned authority and report the reason why you are late. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In this case, it is, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of other countries in the official emails. You need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. You also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. Okay. <clears throat> Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. I, I read. Good etiquette at the workplace. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, that is okay. However, a virtual late commerce are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to you of on time, you should that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline 
will be to call the concert authority and report the reason why you are late. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employers or clients in any part of the world. In two cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of other countries. In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and the be concise. You also need to include all the important details you should use for mal and grammaticality, correct language for emails. Thank you, thank you. Someone else? Teacher, I want to try, read it. Okay. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. Is you are late because you have a emergency that is okay. However, habitual lay come are never appreciated in your organization. If you get to your office of time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be delayed, then a good etiquette guideline would be to call the concerned authority and report the reason why you are late. Responsible. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employers or client in any part of the world. In those case, it is necessary to have a good knowledge of the workplace, email, etiquette, or the other country. In the official email, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concerned. You also need to incline all the important details. You should use a formal and grammatical correct language for email teachers. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm going to read again. Uh, good etiquette at the workplace. Just listen, please pay attention. There are many uh, workplace etiquette online, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, that is okay. However, heavy shall late commerce are never appreciated in any organization. If you get your, to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then, then a good etiquette gu guideline will be to call to concert authority and report the reason why you are late. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of other countries. In the official email, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. You also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for email. Okay, any questions so far from here? Just let me know because I'm going to move to the next slide. ¿Alguna pregunta hasta acá? 
No, too in sure. Is, in Spanish, what is the meaning knowledge? Knowledge? <clears throat> Conocimiento. Yes. Okay, thank you. <coughs> okay, what else? Teacher. Hello, sir. I, I try to read it, but uh, the difficult are words, teacher. I know. But later on, you can practice. But, but I try, teacher. Okay, go ahead if you want to do it. Are you going? Okay, remember that uh, reading in is a skill. And if you want to develop it, what you need to do is just to practice. At the very beginning, it's going to be a kind of hard in order to go in the same pause, you know? And remember that we need to respect uh, all commas and period and semicolons, exclamation mark and, and et cetera, et cetera. So uh, well, I invite you to practice over and over, over and over. And that way you are going to improve your reading. Al inicio será difícil eh, poder eh, leer respetando los puntos y las comas, incluso quizás hasta la entonación, pero todo eso se mejora con la práctica. Y es por ello que es necesaria su participación activa. Recordemos que reading es una de las macro skills, es una de las habilidades macros del idioma. So we need to practice. Necesitamos práctica una y otra vez. Okay, I'm going to move to the next one. Okay, I'm going to read this uh, next two paragraph and say in this way, in addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisors. Listen to what they said carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to a boy runs interpretations. Etiquette gu guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your coworkers. If you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Do not talk loudly while eating. And remember to close your mouth when you should. You should remember that your behavior and manner are under observation. Following etiquette guideline can play a very vital role for future promotion. Okay, I'm going to give you two minutes in order that you get familiar with this two paragraphs too. So read it and later on we are going to talk about
Okay, I'm here. I'm here. Yes. Uh, just let me know uh, if you have any doubt about anywhere there. Teacher, in the second paragraph, uh, um, after the the point, do not talk loudly. The pronunciation, do not talk loudly. Is correct? Hold on. Are you talking about the yes. second paragraph? Do not talk loudly. While. Do not talk loudly. 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 Okay. Loudly while eating. Okay. And remember to close your mouth when you chew. What's the meaning shoe? Shoe is this. Ah, okay. Can, can you see my, 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 my mouse? Yes. That is shoe. Okay, thank you. Okay. No hable, no hable fuerte mientras está comiendo. Recuerde cerrar su boca cuando usted está masticando. A eso se refiere. Ok, pregunta, 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 por favor. Okay, I'm going to read again. Lo voy a leer una vez más. Eh, quizás un poco de corrido. No para que ustedes vayan hacia la misma, pero es para que su oído se vaya adecuando. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisor. Listen to what they said carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. And the second paragraph said etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your coworkers. If you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Do not talk loudly while eating. And remember to close your mouth when you should. You should remember that your behavior and manner are under observation. Following etiquette guideline can play a very vital role for future promotion. Okay, questions? Or maybe somebody wants to read it. Just let me know, please. Remember, as I told you, if you don't participate, it's going to be difficult to improve the reading skills. Ahora, recuerdo que este es, es beginner 3. Usted va a leer uh, hasta donde sus posibilidades eh, le, le permitan, ¿no? Y a medida vaya practicando, va a ir mejorando la velocidad, la pronunciación etc, etc. Ok, who wants to do it? Are you there? Hello? Me teacher. Ok, sir. Go ahead. In additional knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak of the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisor. Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak 
to a background interpretation. Etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebration, celebrating, celebrating with your co-worker. It should get a call when you are eating. Say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Do not talk loudly while eating. And remember to close your mouth when you shake. You should remember that your behavior and manner are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines can play every vital role for future pronouns. Promotion, promotion. Okay, okay, good, good, good job, good job. Okay, someone else? Me, teacher. Okay. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employers or your supervisors. Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. Etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your coworkers. If you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Do not talk loudly while eating. And remember to close your mouth when you shoot. You should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future promotions. Okay. Someone else? In addition, in addition <coughs> knowledge or of the food telephone. Etiquette in the world in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during all daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisor. Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretation. Etiquette Good guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your co-workers. If you get a call when you are in eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call, do not talk loudly while eating. And remember to close your mouth when your chef, you should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for the for future promotions. Okay, R related with the word that I got uh, with this red chart, let me tell you that we had two different ways how to pronounce it. In my case, Talking about my case. I have heard this word in both ways, but it's most common when I say vital. Of course, I know that sometimes we can use it like you say, vital, you know? But at least in the in the states that I've been living for some time, 
I use it because this is like a vitamin. It is the same. And some people say vitamin. And it's correct, but it's most useful, the last one. And for the reason it's important that you learn maybe both pronunciation. I don't know if you got what I said. Si me comprendieron mi explicación o no? More or less, you should. More or less. Ok, referente a la palabra que tengo encerrada en el color rojo, puede tener dos pronunciaciones. Tal como está. Y también vital. Vital. Sí, esa, pal esa palabra es casi igual a la palabra vitamina. Eh, some people say vitamin, you know. Y yo la, he, la oí más así como vitamin. Vitamin. Entonces, uh, recuerdo que una vez entré como en, en, en discusión con un catedrático en la universidad. Cuando él menciona, yo la pronuncié de esa forma, vitamin. Y me dijo él, no, 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 es vitamin. Y eh, bueno, yo trabajé siete años en un hospital eh, traduciendo y justamente la oía de esa forma. Entonces, por eso les, les, les digo de que es necesario que aprendan, en este caso de, de vital, or vital is, is, is both are correct. Pero en algunas regiones es más usada la última. Entonces es necesario eh, ponerle un poco de atención a eso. And even if you look for the pronunciation of that word in a dictionary, you are going to find out in that way too that I've been explaining. Okay, let us continue then. I don't know if somebody got another questions. No? Hola, 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 hola. Despierta, despierta. No questions, teacher. No questions? Okay, let me continue then. Okay, the next activity, you need to identify the key detail to answer the comprehension questions. Let us do the first one. If you know that you are late, you should, and you got A, B, and C. Don't tell me now. Number two, what is a, a tip to apply in official emails? Number three, which is not good etiquette when you're talking on the phone? And number four, if you receive a call while you're eating with co-worker, you should, okay, yes, choose the best option. And later on, we are going to discuss. Okay, I'm going to choose someone from the right here. Let me see who is going to be the person. Yeah, teacher. Hello, sir. 
in the number one for me is the letter P. Letter P? Okay, if you know yes. you're late, you should call the person you report to. Hmm. Okay. For me, teacher, is letter A. Letter A? Yes. Compensate the time? Yes. Mm. For me, letter B, teacher. Letter B? Yes. Okay, remember uh, that we need to answer this question based on the reading. Don't forget that. Recordemos que la respuesta de estas preguntas son basadas en lo que ya hemos leído. ¿Y qué decía? If you know that you are late. Si, si sabe que va a llegar tarde, ¿qué es lo que debemos hacer? Ah, ok. So, call the Entendí report. Mal. You report. Ah, ok. Call Entendí mal. You report too. Ok. Number two. Number two. What is the tip to apply in official emails? For me, letter C. Letter C? Express yes. the subject clearly. Express the subject clearly. Okay. Someone else. Someone else, please. Is that correct? Letter C. Okay, let us see. Not discussion. Uh, number three, which is not good etiquette when talking on the phone? Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Interrupt the other. Because it's not good etiquette. Ah, okay. Okay. Interrupt the other the other speaker. Okay. And number four, if you receive a call while you are eating with a co-worker, you should just choose one. Letter C. Letter C. Letter C, teacher. Leave the table and answer the letter C. But before leave the table and answer the call, you need to say something. Could you tell me the, the, the expression that you're going to say? Dejar la mesa y, y contestarle. Yeah, yeah, I got, I got I got it, I got it. But before that, antes de dejar la mesa y responder la llamada, ¿qué debo de decir? Excuse me. Ah, okay, excuse me, excuse me. And you are going to stand up and go away in order to answer the phone. Okay, thank you. Any question? Any question? No, teacher. No, teacher. Okay, here we go. No, teacher. Okay, we need to we need to hurry up. Okay, someone I find etiquette guideline for the article. But I guess uh we can do it uh, at the end. Or oh, yes can mention uh five etiquette guideline. From the attic. Okay, just tell me. Be punctual, teacher. Okay, be punctual is number one. Okay, second. Second. Only one? Call the concert authority, authority in report. Okay, two. What about number three? Number don't talk, don't talk loudly, loudly while eating. Ah, okay, okay. Number four. Number four. Close Which? the the mouth when you chew. Ah, close your mouth. Close your mouth at the moment. Close right? your mouth. Yes. Yes. Okay, and number five. 
Number five. Mention the subject clearly. Oh, okay, could be too. Okay. Okay, where we'll play etiquettes. Okay, let us see. Some ways. I'm going to read it. Workplace etiquette means the socially acceptable ways that we interact with one another and behave in our workplace may vary from one uh, workplace to another. However, but there are some behaviors which are universally acceptable. Las etiquetas en el lugar de trabajo son socialmente aceptables o son maneras socialmente al, uh, aceptables para que nosotros podamos interactuar unos a los otros y podamos comportarnos en nuestro lugar de trabajo. Podría ser una interpretación. Podrían variar de un lugar a otro. Sin embargo, hay algunas conductas las cuales son eh, universalmente aceptables. Ok, workplace etiquette. Ok, a lot of workplace etiquette has to do with common courtesy. Making a workplace as a comfortable place that is conducive to productivity and success. Non-negotiable company policies, anything that makes another person uncomfortable, uneasy or unafraid. Significa que algunas eh, normas no son negociables. Y eso es así. Okay, uh, we have a question here. Okay, hold on a second. I move it. Okay, hold on. What behaviors does workplace etiquette include? Okay, the way you relate to your coworkers. Que incluyen las normas, veamos. The way you relate to customer, your behavior while at work, while you wear, uh, how you speak, communicate to, with people, and what else? La manera como usted se relaciona con sus compañeros de trabajo, la manera como usted eh, se relaciona con sus clientes, sus conductas en el trabajo o sus actos, sus actuaciones, lo que usted usa, cómo habla, cómo se comunica con las personas. What else? ¿Qué más? Tell me. ¿Cómo nos sentamos también, teacher? Uh, how do you sit down? Okay. Okay, that is, that is right. How dress? How, how do you dress? Okay, because some, some uh, companies, they have uh, their own dress code. Okay, what else? ¿Qué más? Mire, aquí está la pregunta que les he venido haciendo siempre. Mire, what else? ¿Qué más? What else? Uh, maybe taking care of equipment, office equipment. Ah, okay. Take care with the office equipment. If you uh, got your computer there, sometime uh, in some companies, is you are not allowed it to put a personal picture on the screen. I think that that is not a good 
etiquette? That is that is not correct. Yes. Okay. Yes, because they, they make the computer belong to the company and all the information that you got there too. For the reason we need to be careful about. Okay, well, we, we discuss. Okay, let us talk about workplace. Do's and don't. A telephone etiquette, office etiquette, and email etiquette. That means that we have four points, main point to talk about. So let us start with the third one. We have do and don'ts. What are some of the most annoying, bothersome, and time-wasting don'ts? Okay, loudness. Loud telephone conversation even more annoying when they are personal conversation. In Spanish? Take a look at the picture here. Loud telephone conversation. Hello? In Spanish teacher? Yes, tell me. I, I need to check up if, if you got all the message. <laughs> Lugar de trabajo que hacer y no hacer. Okay. ¿Cuáles son algunos de los no hacer más molestos? molestos y que hacen perder el tiempo volumen okay. conversaciones telefónicas en voz alta aún más molestas cuando son conversaciones personales yes hablar en voz alta en general por teléfono en persona en persona cerca de donde hay gente intentando trabajar por intercomunicadores etcétera Quejas fuertes, hablaremos más de esto. Música alta. La music, okay. La, uh, la talking in general, uh, on the phone, in person, nearby, where people are trying to work on intercoms, etc. La complaining, we'll talk about this more. Eh, and la music, esos son los dons. Loud music sometimes, maybe you are working in your office and you got loud music and somebody else is trying to concentrate and in a in a difficult uh, decision or point and it's not accustomed to, to have music in order to work. So we need to be careful about that. Okay, more, more about loudness. A key personal conversation to a minimal Minimum while at work, close your door or go outside on a break. When you talk about personal conversation, turn your cell phone ringer to vibrate or low volumes. And what else? Tell me, what else? What else? Tell me. Más sobre el sonido. Yes. Mantenga las conversaciones personales en mínimo mientras está en el trabajo. Cierre la puerta o salga a tomar un descanso. Pon el timbre de tu celular en vibrador o en vibración, perdón, o volumen bajo. ¿Qué otra cosa? Ok, la unesis a uh, el ruido. Ok, entonces estas son las cosas que no debemos hacer. Have you, have you ever heard a, a personal conversation to someone uh, in the next office? And maybe, well, the husband is calling to his wife and you hear all the conversation. So we need to be careful about that, you know. 
okay, uh, workplace done. We uh, we're going to continue introducing on personal space. Sharipati, what is the meaning of Sharipati? Constantly uh, coming into your space to chat about non work scenes. Ojo con esta expresión, Sharipati. Constantly coming into your uh, space to chat about non work scenes. Hola, hola. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Microphone, 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 microphone. Okay, is that clear? What is Shari Party? Hello? Is I understand that is when the people don't stop to talk, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, but constantly coming into your space. Uh, that means that somebody moved uh, from one office to another one, only just to be chatting about non wear things. Cuando alguien constantemente se mueve a tu espacio de trabajo para ir a hablar cosas que no tienen que ver con el trabajo. A eso se le llama sharipari. ¿Sí se comprende? Yes, teacher. Yes. Ok, uh, the next. Be friendly with coworkers, but allow them time to get their work done. Also known as gossip or the sorority sister. Be friendly with coworkers, but allow them time to get their work done. Also known as gossips or the sorority sister. Have you heard that the, the serious gossip girl? Alguna vez vieron la serie The Gossip Girl? Me no, teacher. No? No. But you know what yes, is <laughs> but you know what is the meaning of gossip, right? Is mentirosas? Mm. No, chismosas. Yes. The gossip, gossip. Okay, let us. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need to go back. Hold on. My, I need to go back here. Okay, needy. Uh, seem to always need help with something. If you need more help with your work, talk to a, a supervisor about your work load or set uh, aside time to get help from co worker on projects. Un needy eh, es alguien que siempre está necesitando que le ayuden con su trabajo. Si usted necesita que alguien le ayude, hable con un supervisor acerca de su carga de trabajo. O disponga de tiempo para que alguien más le ayude en su proyecto. Negative. Always coming into your space to complain. Spend more time working to improve things. Complaining is the root of unable at work. El negativo es aquel que siempre llega a tu lugar de trabajo a quejarse. Gasta más tiempo. Eh, spend more time working to improve things. Complaining is the root of uh, all evil at worst. Okay, what else? ¿Qué más creen ustedes? Let me see the time, my goodness. Oh, 
Okay, workplace don'ts making your personal item uh, a public affair. Grooming yourself in public. I'm say no come too much perfume, lack of grooming, uh, bare feet, robot, chapel, too much makeup, not enough clothes, or too tight clothes. Aquí hay puntos muy importantes. Okay, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me in Spanish. What is meaning of grooming yourself in public? What do you mean grooming, sir? Okay, yes, I, I, I need that, that you got the meaning uh, about the context. Grooming yourself in Publix. What is that? Asearse en público. That is grooming. It is like if you got a, a your job and at the same time you got an apresto barba in front of your co-worker and you start doing this. You know you are grooming yourself. Okay, okay. I'm shaved. What is that? I'm shaved. Let it draw. Take a look at this guy. This, this, this. Oh, okay, now come. Take a look at the hair. No se ha peinado. Uh, too much perfume. Uh, lack of grooming. A bare feet or rubber shape. Uh, too much makeup. Not enough clothes or too tight clothes. What about the last one? Not enough clothes. What is that? Or too tight clothes? Hola, hola. Poca ropa. Sí, o demasiado. Corta. Sí, o sea, ropa corta o demasiado pegada, you know? Eso es algo que no, que no se debe. Bueno, por acá les dejo para que hagan una screenshot y les sirva ese vocabulario eh, más adelante. Es cop, wear, term, did it, did it choose, close, etc. Et Refer to office policies or seem like disrupting the hairstyle, body art, fancy nails, you know? And you can see here a uh, uh, trim haircut, clean shape, shape, wear a smile, feel of confidence. Formal dress, beer, hem shape, correct body posture. Okay, let me see the time, my goodness. Okay, later on, maybe I'm going to share with you uh, this presentation. Take your cell phone, a call or a texting while in meeting or involved in a conversation with customer or workers. Sacar su celular para hacer llamadas, para textear durante esta en una reunión. 
o en una conversación con algún cliente o un compañero de trabajo. Y eso es muy habitual hoy en día. Y eso no debería de ocurrir. Even if uh, it's a business call, it's rude. Aun y cuando sea una llamada de negocio, eso es rudo. If you must take a call or response, apologize and excuse yourself from the conversation. Si usted debe tomar la llamada o responder, discúlpese. Sí. Turn your personal cell phone off or to vibrate during work hours. Por favor, eh, ubique en vibrador su teléfono durante las horas de trabajo. Set aside of time to check email, voicemail, and text message. Consider disconnecting except during those times. Eh, ubique un tiempo eh, para revisar su email, su correo de voz, su mensaje de texto. Y si es posible, desconectese excepto durante esos tiempos o esas horas. Multitasking isn't always more productive. El tener muchas cosas que hacer a veces no es tan productivo. Eh, Lunch time, uh, no. Smelly, less over. Dropping, uh, dropping, uh, Baseball eh, everywhere, talking to other people, food, uh, clean up after yourself, wash your own dishes, clean the workplace after lunch. And you can mention some of them, but let me see the time. Well, hold on a second. Um, well, this, uh, I, as I told you, this topic is extends. But let me see what else. Well, we need to, okay. Let me share with you this one, please. Going back to our material, regresando a nuestro material, I need that uh, you talk about this. Okay, and in pairs, you are in charge of the group that is going to visit another company to make an alliance. Write a short uh, etiquette manual for your colleagues. Usted está encargado de un grupo que eh, visitará otra compañía para hacer una alianza. Escriba un manual de normas para sus colegas. What can you write down about that? Okay. And you can start with the greeting. Uh, greet everyone in the, in the facilities. And you can continue writing down. So I invite you to do it by yourself. And later on, we can share it, right? Okay, let me, I'm going to stop. I don't know if you want to take a screenshot. No sé si pueden hacer una captura. Just let me know. Okay, I'm going to put together in and you are going to do it with somebody else. Okay, uh, I'm going to open a breakout room. Voy a abrir una sala para que entre dos o tres sea más fácil y más rápido. Vamos a hacerlo en five minutes. ¿Qué es lo que van a hacer? Dígame a alguien en español, rapidito, por favor. Aló. Aló. Un breve manual de etiquetas. Para ok, nosotros. ok, perfecto. Ok, here we go. Five minutes.
Sería dress according to the, no sé, dress according to the occasion, no sé. Algo así pudiera ser. <coughs> Por la forma de vestimenta. Lo puedo hacer. Ok, you, no, can, you, I... you can write down there, uh, follow the dress code. Perdón, the, teacher. Follow the dress code that they have. Ah. Dress code, el, el código de vestimenta. Ah, follow the dress code. Yeah, follow the dress code. Seguir el código de vestimenta. Así es. Ok, eh, otra habíamos puesto a B puntual. Ah, ok, B puntual. Uh -huh. Aquí, como respetar el pensamiento o respetar. Respetar criterios, tal vez pudiera ser. Uh, do you remember that I showed you at the beginning? Yo le mostré una actividad al, al inicio donde hablaba de respetar. Respect the opinion of all the... Mm -hmm. Okay, and you can continue in that way. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay. You didn't accept my invitation in order to join in the breakout room. I don't know why. Only just in the case of Mercedes and Mauricio and Roxana, they are as a listener and also Yesenia, yes. But the rest? Okay, welcome back. Um, I don't know if you want to share what you wrote there. Who wants to do it? One of each couple can do it. Uno de cada pareja puede compartirlo. Hola, hey, hola. teacher. Go Me on. with with Gabriela. Okay, go ahead. Okay, the first is be punctual. Uh, number two, follow the dress code. Uh, three, respect the opinion. Four, don't interrupt when someone is talking. And five, use appropriate vocabulary. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Someone else. Someone else, please.
uh, me teacher with okay. America. Uh, use the appropriate clothing. Set phone to vibrator. Don't take calls in the meetings. Have good sighting posture in the meetings. Okay. Seating posture. Okay, so okay. now. Okay, thank you. Next, please. Me and Sergio okay. uh, become to work every day. Wear appropriate clothing. Be a good listening. Respecting personal space. And don't forget to say please and thank you. Okay, perfect. Good. Thank you. Someone else. Next, please. Who's next? Okay, tell me, who's next? Hello, hello. Next, please. Anybody else? Hello, hello. Alguien más? Teacher, no sé si puedo decir las mías porque en ese momento no hayaba que poner con mi compañero Carlos. Ah, ok. Um, yo durante... Este tiempo estuve haciendo estas, donde dice sentarnos bien durante la reunión. Sit well during the meeting. Um, la otra es no tener el teléfono sobre la mesa mientras estamos en la reunión. No having the table where we are in the meeting. No sé si está bien dicho. Or you can say put away your cell phone during a meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay, put yourself away. Okay, thank you. Someone else, alguien más. Who is it? Who is it? Anybody else? No? Okay, let me continue then if you... Uh, well, hold on a second, please.
Okay, take a look at this. Take a look at this, please. Complaining. Complaining is the root of all uh, evil at work. It's annoying. It causes resentment, resentment and contributes to poor model, and it decreases your ability to do your job well. What do people complain about? Complaining es que hace de. Their workload por su carga de trabajo sin de per, perceive as unfair de cosas que perciben como injusta, injustas, perdón. Other employees de otros empleados, uh, their paycheck and their boss. If you don't like something, try and change it. If you can change it, either accept it over, uh, accept it or move on, but stop complaining. Oh, with that. If you don't like something, try and change it. If you can change it, either accept it or move on. But stop complaining. That means that you are not going to be all the time complaining about, you know. Okay, and another one is when we talk about telephone. You need to be pleasant and smile when you answer the phone. Never trample someone without letting them know what you are doing. Don't sound rushed or annoyed at the caller, even if you are busy. Don't be a call center robot. Do what you can to help the person on the line before, before handing up or transfer. Okay, ¿qué dice ahí? Mencionemelo, por favor. Hola. Hola. La etiqueta de teléfono. Sea agradable y sonría cuando conteste el teléfono. Nunca transfieras a alguien sin dejarle saber lo que estás haciendo. No parezca apresurado o molesto con la persona que llama, incluso si está ocupado. No seas un robot de call center. <risa> <risa> Haga lo que pueda para ayudar a la persona en la línea antes de colgar otra experiencia. Or Trump. Okay, and the last one, when you're making a call, identify yourself by first and last name and where you are calling from. Leave complete messages, your name, company name, why you are calling, and what you want the other person to do. Be specific. Call me back. 3 p.m., please email me uh, the report. Stop and, and see me before tomorrow. Be sure and to the point. Don't rumble. Return messages promptly. What else? Well, uh, I know you already practice all this aspect. When we talk about email, do not send an email when a phone call or person conversation is more appropriate. Business email should be treated like business correspondence, not text messaging. Include a greeting and clause. Don't forget to do that too. Address people with the appropriate formality, a spell and grammar check. 
uh, read loud to make sure your message is clear, include all necessary detail and information. And the last one, go easy on the reply to all and see the feature ask yourself who it is necessary to include. Include a relevant subject, don't use all caps or capital letter, don't use distracting background. So I invite you to keep in mind all these aspects. Well, I'm going to stop here because of the time. Let me check up the attendance and then we can say goodbye for today. So let me hear. I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. I know uh, this topic got a lot of information related with uh, etiquette, but we need to know this. Questions? Questions? Preguntas? Are you there? Se me durmieron? Mi micrófono. Teacher, no question. Mi micrófono no está trabajando bien o qué pasó? Just tell me. No question, teacher. Uh, no no question. questions. Okay. Okay, let me check out my attendance. America, say hello, please. I'm present, teacher. Okay, uh, Carlos Amilcar. Present. Cecilia Maribel. Edwin Alexis. Present teacher. Okay, Edwin Alfredo. Present. Good evening. Esmeralda, Esmeralda El Rosario. Gabriela Yamilet. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Gisela Guadalupe. Héctor Enrique. Present teacher. Ingrid, Geraldina, Jonathan Stanley, Jose Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, Don Jose Ernesto is there. Welcome, welcome, sir. I saw you driving in, on, on the street. Catherine Paola. Natalia. Present teacher. Present teacher. Hola, aquí estoy. Okay. Present teacher. And Natalia también. Eh, Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Roxana Álvarez. Present teacher. Okay. Elizabeth, Roxana. Present teacher. Sara. Present. Sergio. Sergio, Sergio. Present teacher. Okay, Janet. Yesenia. Jesse. Okay, it's not there. So, um, we finished uh, this session. Let me see number 14 is Natalia. You are going to have 10 minutes at the end in order that you can ask questions related with the topic that we already have started. Eh, Natalia tiene 10 minutos para su tutoría al finalizar. Eh, I'm sorry, nos pasamos ahí un par de minutos por la demora de la actualización de Zoom. Eh, I know it is... Uh, Late now. I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night. Take care. Bye bye, Natalia. Espero verla al final de la sesión. In order that you can ask some questions. Good night and see good you. Good night. Okay. Good night. Good bye. night, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Teacher. Hello. Eh, ya pasó lista. Sí, Gisela. Uh, no le escuché. Pero okay. aquí estoy. Excelente. Ya fue eh, captada su voz. Sure. Gracias. Ah, Mercedes. 
A mí no me mencionó hoy de, eh, hoy de último. Really? Mercedes Alejandra. My goodness. Me pasé de Mauricio a Roxana. Sí. I'm sorry, Mercedes. Ok, Mercedes está presente. Yo también. Ok, y Gisela también es there, too. Ok, thank you. Sí, tomorrow. Ok, take care, bye. Bye, good night, teacher. Good night. Ok, Natalia, are you there, Natalia? Yes, teacher. Ok, tiene 10 minutos para hacer cualquier consulta referente a algún tema que no le haya quedado claro. O si tú pues, es... mira, teacher, sí, sí, eh, no. nada más es quizás como la adaptación de tal vez el nuevo idioma, ¿verdad? Porque en realidad hay... Muchas cosas que en realidad nunca las había visto ni sabía que existían en el inglés. Más que todo por los temas, porque son temas ya enfocados al área de trabajo, ¿verdad? Es, Entonces, es, es correcto. Eh, son tal vez temas... sabía que, exist, que existían en el español, pero en el inglés no. Ah, Entonces, no. es como que toda esa parte ha sido nueva, pero siento que no es complicada. Más que todo, tal vez complicada en el sentido de decirlo, porque son o sea, uno les dice tal vez un ratito y ya después posiblemente se le olviden o son algo complicadas o algo así, más sí. que todo porque no se adapta como, como la boca a decir ese tipo de de expresiones ajá sí, porque sí. más que todo sí hay un amplio amplio lenguaje que en realidad no <ríe> no lo había visto nunca por lo mismo, porque como siempre le enseña a uno como lenguaje de ah, vaya, aprende inglés, pero no enfocado como en un área, que en este caso sería el de trabajo, ¿verdad? Así es, por eso yo les he dicho que ya desde el nivel 3 beginner, ustedes tienen que tener su cuaderno para ir creando su vocabulario, porque yo sé que van a aparecer un montón de palabras, como usted dice que jamás se imaginaron que existían. Entonces, a medida usted va anotando la forma de cómo se pronuncian y la va usando dentro de algunas conversaciones, ahí es donde va aumentando su vocabulario, su conocimiento, y ese es el objetivo nuestro, que ustedes, al finalizar, tengan vocabulario específico para poderse usar en sus trabajos. Algo que en un inglés común no se aprende. Sí, la verdad que sí, porque igual yo, como les repito, yo hay muchos lenguajes que no, nunca había visto. Pues ahorita, o por lo menos ahora vimos lo que son párrafos y hay un montón de palabras que yo decía, y esto ni sabía que existían esas palabras porque como siempre son enfocadas a las mismas, las mismas palabras. Sí. Sí, pero ya acá, eh, esa, ese material, esa, esa, ese reading, ya le digo en qué página se encuentra. En la página 35 eh, de, su, de su libro, 35 y 36, están justamente eh, esas, esas actividades, ese párrafo, para que usted lo pueda... Eh, Ver otra vez ahí. Ok, teacher, gracias. Igual yo le tomé captura por lo mismo, porque dije yo no, 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 o sea, la idea es tenerlo, ¿verdad? Y Así uno es. estar viendo las palabras y adaptarse a ellas, que es lo, la idea. Sí. En lo demás no hay ningún problema, ¿cierto? No, teacher, en realidad no, porque como hay cosas que tal vez no me quedan muy claras y rapidito comienzo a buscar qué son o cómo se utilizan, ya me apoyo de otra forma yo y ya es más fácil comprenderlo. Oh, ok, perfecto. Ok. Ok, thank you for your time and I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night, take care. Buenas noches, teacher. Ah, no, good night, perdón. <laughs> <laughs> see you tomorrow. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye, teacher. Okay, bye.